pouring in here from the first half of that show. Uh, but we have so much more goodness coming up for you. Our ongoing series, Settle for More. As many of you know, it's been the guiding principle of my life. And here on the show, it's a great excuse to highlight the kindness we see in the world. I feel like going from Nasser to this story, it's like the worst of humanity to the best of humanity. Now, did this photo pop up on your Facebook feed? It did for many. And you will not believe the chain of events that ensued. Take a look. Robert Leibowitz is a self-described tough guy, a single father of five who's been fighting for his health since the age of 12. Maybe it's the tough guy in Brooklyn for me, or you know, I don't know what it is, but just kick yourself and keep going, keep going. Beneath Robert's tough exterior, a silent killer, chronic kidney failure, and doctors said it was getting worse. He said, you know, Rob, you're gonna need dialysis or a new kidney. It happens internally and you don't know it until it's too late. And that's when he put me on dialysis. Robert was immediately placed on multiple donor lists, hoping for a match that would save his life. But the challenge there is, there's a seven to 10 year waiting list, okay? Some people don't even make it seven years. Refusing to give up, Robert decided to take his battle public at Disney World with a special homemade shirt. So I came up with the idea with the shirt. You know, I thought if I can get one person to notice this shirt, it could be a potential match. It's worth a $30 investment. That shirt caught the attention of one park goer who snapped a picture that went viral, getting more than 90,000 shares on Facebook. It all paid off. Robert got a call from Indiana native Rich Sully, who had the offer of a lifetime. I called him like, hey, my name's Richie. I saw your post. I have an extra kidney. I'm O positive. Um, like, you can have it. It's like still hard to believe that this human being is giving me a part of his body to help keep me alive. And we are joined now by Robert Leibowitz and Richie Sully, who are one week post-op. Welcome to you both. This time seven days ago, you were sitting in a hospital in probably the recovery room. Absolutely. How do you feel? Amazing, amazing. You know, I'm very tired, but that should be the least of my worries. Mm -hmm. The fact that I'm alive and I know I'm gonna have at least 20 more years with my kids, that's the best thing in the world. How many kids do you have? Five. You have five children? Yep, five boys and a little girl. And if, he, if Richie hadn't made this sacrifice, what, what was your prognosis? Well, you know, your body deteriorates at least probably about 25% each year that you're on dialysis. So uh, some people don't make it even seven years while you're on dialysis. So. Never gave up hope, never got depressed. If I did, I'd get together with my kids and, you know, they were my motivation. So, uh, but you know, my philosophy is no fun, no life. So I just kept going and my kids were motivating me and said, dad, you're gonna get a kidney. And I believed them. You, uh, Facebook played a critical role in yes. all of this. Yes. Are you a big Facebook person? The only time I go on Facebook is to make sure my kids aren't in prison. <laughs> and they are out, by the way. So no, that's okay. excellent, yeah, good. It's good news all around. All around. And yet somebody, some park goer sees yeah. that shirt. What a great idea, a $35 investment. Exactly. Well, I, I didn't think it would work, but I, you know, it comes out of desperation. You know, most, most parents go to Disney for their kids. My kids go to Disney for me. And I thought, here we are at the parks. There's more people than I'll ever get to meet. I'm desperate. So I came up with the idea of the shirt and I said, you know, again, if one person sees it, because I wasn't getting live donors and there's a seven to 10 year wait for a deceased donor and a live donor is much healthier and it lasts longer. So I thought if I can get one person, that could be my lucky, lucky pixie dust. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, went viral. 33,000 in the first 24 hours, 90,000 over the first week. All right, Richie, now I see you sitting over there. <laughs> now you, we're saving, Oh. It's emotional, right? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the women that were just up on stage. That story's phenomenal, and I'm trying oh, yeah. not to cry. Oh. This is a great story, too. So. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're all great stories. And in a way, they're, they're both about empowerment. In a way, they're both about empowerment. But we're back now with our series, Settle for More. And Robert Leibowitz and Richie Sully, two men who were once strangers and now share an incredible bond. All right, Richie, I'm looking at you. Hi, Megan. So you see the Facebook post, and most of us be like, oh, he needs a kidney. kidney. Okay, back to my shopping, right? It's truly, I mean, I think that's how most of us go. You, you sort of become numb to it. What made you say, like you said, I've got two kidneys. Like, you're going to have one. Um, I can't take all the credit. I was, I was at the Red Cross giving blood, and I got the link from my friend Jessica, 
And she said, he's an O positive, you're an O positive, you should give him a call. So I gave him a call. Now what about, well, I know, right, it's as simple as that. What about my question before the break? I, you know, so many people, like I would think, what if I need my kidney later? What if, what if one of my children needs my kidney? Did you think that? Yeah, after I called him and I left him a voicemail and um, Jessica is a nurse, so I was talking to her about some of the stuff and we investigated it and Newark Presbyterian has a great outreach advocacy team and they really explain things that are going on. I don't have kidney disease uh, in my family history, but if for some odd reason something does happen, I will get priority on the donor list. So they'll shoot me up the list there so I don't have to wait the seven to 10 years that most people will. Um, but even then, it wasn't a big enough what if, like what if something happens with the girls or what if my remaining kidney fails. If he didn't get a donor, he would die. And that was enough to say, you know, hey, have at it, do what you gotta do. Aww. I love you, buddy. So, you gotta come to New York, you, you start going to Presbyterian, you live in Indiana, so what did you do? Uh, I took a Greyhound out last month to um, get tested at New York Presbyterian to make sure that- Did you have the Greyhound was... bus to donate your kidney? <laughs> No, I took a Greyhound bus to get tested to see if I could donate a kidney. And then I, a few weeks later, I took a, an Amtrak down to New York <laughs> to make sure I could still donate that kidney. What's awesome is they've been crowdsourcing some of this since because he's racking up some bills and it's, it's been taken care of now. Yeah, it's, everything's fully covered. Like everybody's been great and reaching out and helpful. It's, it's awesome. So how do you feel now and how is the kidney taking? Um, <clears throat> New York Presbyterian said all the dirt nurses, the doctors are thrilled with the results. Um, when I was on dialysis, my uh, creatinine level, which is a direct reflection of your kidney function, was at about a nine, which thus the reason for kidney failure. They told me they walked in with big smiles on their face and said you're at a 0.9, which is the healthiest kidney you can have. You're welcome. Well, I certainly hope that Disney is going to give you a free trip back to Disney, but if they won't, we're going to do it at Universal. <laughs> <laughs> you should check out Universal. I'll go to Harry Potter. Next time. That's fine. I'm all for that. Uh, so much love to you guys both. Oh, thank, thank you for sharing thank your you story. So much. Thank you for sharing your kidney. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.